Instructomania presents the social classes of ancient Greece. This video will detail in what ways the people of Greece were divided into social classes, in what ways social classes of ancient Greece reflected the attitudes, beliefs, and needs of Greek society, and lastly, why Greek society developed democracy and how Greece changed under its influence. The term social classes through a historian's lens means how a civilization is divided into classes that have different roles, responsibilities, and privileges. For example, most ancient civilizations are ruled by kings and governed locally by nobles. A working class of farmers and laborers made up most of the population, and, in some cases, the lowest class were slaves. How were the people of ancient Greece divided into social classes and how did the social structure affect the attitudes, beliefs, and needs of Greek society? A man's wealth determined his social status in Greece. Wealth could either be from farming, providing resources for Greece, or from status in the army defeating enemies. Greek armies had a ranking based on jobs and established the workers' social status as well. The wealthiest army men were military leaders followed by those who could afford a horse and be part of the cavalry. Greek armies were mostly made up of hoplites, or foot soldiers, and the lowest ranks were archers and stone throwers. Upper class Greeks were all known as freemen, or Greek males that were born in Greece. Historians approximate that in Athens, about 36 to 48 percent of people were slaves, often captives of war, while 19 percent were male citizens and 33 percent were family members of male citizens. Women were considered lower class, and most of their decisions were made by their fathers or husbands. The exception to this lay in Sparta, where women had a few more rights such as owning property and training as warriors. Children and teens were also considered lower middle class until they reached the age of 20. Why did Greece move toward democracy, and how did it change Greece's society? The word democracy comes from two Greek words, demos, meaning people, and kratos, meaning power. So democracy means power of the people. Greek farmers grew upset when war slaves were brought back to Greece in order to perform labor jobs, making it difficult for farmers to earn a living. City-state kings didn't respond to the farmers' complaints, creating a crisis. Hoping to remedy the situation, in 416 BC, Pericles began to lead Athens toward democracy. He pushed for equality for the rich and poor in government decisions. Athens moved toward democratic rule. Beginning about 600 BCE, male citizens elected government leaders, rather than following a king traditionally born into leadership. Athens became a polis, or a city-state that included several villages and small cities who banded together for protection and trade. Later, an organized, written law system was established by Draco, in the hopes of ending the king's reign and stopping blood feuds between villages. Draconian laws were chiseled onto stone tablets. Draco was the first legislator in Greece, and his laws were very harsh by today's standards. Draco is quoted saying, He who kills another Athenian, without a purpose or by accident, should be banished from Athens forever. So much for, accidents happen. All male citizens over 20 years old had a say in government and could vote, but women, children, teens, and slaves could not. Test your knowledge! In this game, you'll try to predict the social classes to which the character belongs based on their actions. First, quickly familiarize yourself with the class members and their roles. This is Adrian. Based on his actions, to which ancient Greece social class does he most likely belong? Is he part of the upper class, upper middle class, lower middle class, or slave class? That's right, he's a Greek soldier, which means he's most likely a member of the upper class. This is Jocasta, and her teenage son Lycus. Based on their genders and ages, to which ancient Greek social class did they most likely belong? Are they part of the upper class, upper middle class, lower middle class, or slave class? That's right, Jocasta is a female and Lycus is a young male, which means they're both considered lower middle class in ancient Greece. As you can see from the game, each social class in ancient Greece performed different roles in order to fit the needs of the civilization. 
Consider this. In what ways are different roles needed in order for your family to function? From two teachers to all of you amazing teachers out there, we would like to thank you for choosing our resources to use in your classroom. Find more Instructomania teaching materials and lessons at our Instructomania store and on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support!